Hello, my marvelous muses. So tonight we're doing a two for one. <laughs> Mainly because I've got to get some more stuff done for this sale. Uh, I've got quite a bit done, but I want to have more. And I figured I might as well do them on camera with you guys. So we're going to knock out two of these at one time. It's going to be super easy. We're going to do some mica powder on them. You know, I love my mica powders, guys. You know I love them. After this sale, I want to play around with a couple of these a little more. I want to do some different stuff with them. But, you know, i got to do something with my mica powder, guys. You know, I really do. Um, one of the things I want to try here, and I don't know how well it's going to work. I get the pin out here. I have this silver pin. And in this lizard I'm going to do, we are going to do deep sky blue. I love this color beautiful but I, what I'd like to do is he's got all these little designs on him I'd like to do them in this silver if it will take some of these molds won't take this acrylic markers it kind of just almost like it melts off it doesn't stay it's like no it's more like it evaporates off is what it looks like oh no see this one's actually staying in here yeah, I've done some of these molds where I've tried to do this, and you just, you don't get anything there. It won't stay. And then others like this, where it's doing just fine. So I'm just going through here, and I'm marking any of these little lines in this silver. Get his little coat area there painted. The section here on his tail. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's another one right here. There's a little dots right here. How we doing tonight, guys? We doing all right? I am doing fantastic, fantastic. Just a wonderful night. It's been a rainy day here. I've been busy. My poor friend. Um, I have a neighbor next door. Good friend of mine. Just my buddy. We ran around together a lot, and uh. She was on her way to work this morning and got rear-ended in her car. And uh, she loves her car. And she's a Mustang convertible. And she's she's all right, fortunately. She's okay. She's a little, of course, she's a little sore. From the collision, she's gonna be a little sore tomorrow, but she was pretty stressed out most of the day over that, of course. So, I hung out with her this evening for a little while. This afternoon, this evening, I went with her to go pick up the rental car. So, she, fortunately, she's all right, and she didn't get hurt. The car is replaceable, you know, and Hopefully, it's something that they can fix, and they won't, uh, they won't total it, because she loves her Mustang. It's a Mustang convertible. That's the car we go cruising to buy groceries and stuff. <laughs> it's our, that's our car. I mean, it's her car, but we ride in, I ride in it a lot. So, I'm going to do the snake here, and I'm going to do him in the chameleon color shift powder and it is golden
green and yellow. I watch a lot of reptile videos and some of the snakes I really love to see are the ones that are like kind of the golden green and yellow colors. I, yeah, I don't know what it is. I have a fascination with them. I watch a couple guys here local in Florida that I watch that are awesome. And, uh, they have, like, major snakes. I mean, we're not talking, like, I had a ball python, you know. <laughs> we're not talking ball python. We're talking, um, uh, king cobras and mambas and stuff like that. I've learned a lot about snakes, though, from that channel. I did not know that some medicines are actually made by using snake venom. So, when you think you hate that snake, remember that snake may be the one by him surviving is the reason you have the medicine that you need to survive yourself. So, I did not realize, I never realized that, you know, until he was talking about it the other day on his channel, and I was like, really? And I looked it up, and sure enough, um, I can't remember what medicine it was now. He tells on his channel what medicines it is, but, yeah, I'm like, wow. Very interesting. And honestly, these snakes don't, they're not... They don't just seek him out to try to bite him. If he was to open his, their cage and leave them alone, they're not going to hunt him out and try to bite him. It's only when he's messing with them. And even some of them are calmer snakes because he's owned them for years, you know, and stuff. So they know he's not out to hurt them. Granted, they're still snakes. They're still dangerous animals. But he knows what he's doing. He's been doing it for years and years and years. So yeah, I like watching his channel, and like I said, there's a couple of them that I watch. There's a few of them that I like watching that are that way. Like I said, I watch a pretty eclectic bunch of things on YouTube. I watch slot, slot videos. I love to watch people play slot. I love the casino. That was like my husband and I's date night. We didn't, neither one of us really drank. We didn't, you know, so we weren't going to go to the clubs. And, uh, he couldn't make it through most movies without falling asleep. So, movies weren't an option. And we both liked the casino. So, we had a little budget set aside that that was our time we would go. And, uh, one of the casinos used to do free... If you gambled and earned so many tier points in that length of time that you got a free buffet. And it wasn't hard at all to earn a free buffet. It was fairly easy. You gamble for about an hour and... Psh, I mean, we're playing penny slots. We're not gambling big money. And uh, you'd earn enough for your buffet. Well, we'd gamble for about an hour. We'd go up and eat. And then we'd come back down and we'd gamble for about another hour and we'd go home. We had a nice evening out. If we won, yay. If not... We knew what we were going in there with, and we knew that was that was our budget. It was like, okay, if we went to the club, we'd probably spend this amount, or if we went here, we'd spend this. So instead, we're going to call it donate, and we're going to go to the casino and donate. Because basically, you're not going there to win. You're going there to hope to win, but you're not going there to win, realistically. And uh, we knew that, like I said, we knew that going in. And it was just our, it was our way of having fun. So I love to watch the slot videos. Okay, we almost got him done here. Cute. So did you guys sign up for the Timu affiliate program that I showed on last night's video? Because guys, I mean... I know a lot of you are as addicted to Timu as I am. Why not sign up and make a little bit of money to on <laughs> your resin mold addiction? Or your jewelry piece addiction or whatever, you know. 
shoot, if you have a channel doing cooking, you know, you can get cooking supplies on there. So, you don't have to, uh, doesn't, and you can, don't even have to use it for that, you know, like I've been saying on the video. Also, guys, I am going to put a link down in the description box for a PayPal account of mine. Uh, if anybody, one of my subscribers had suggested this, said a lot of the channels, you can buy the person a cup of coffee. And she said, you know, they said that they wanted to know why I didn't have one up so they maybe could buy me a cup of coffee. And I was like, well... I don't want to ask people for money, really, you know, not my thing. That's why I wanted to get to a thousand, so hopefully I make a few bucks off of having a channel, you know, because it's not cheap doing this resin, but I love doing it, and I would be doing it even if I wasn't on video doing it, so it's more fun to do it with you guys watching and commenting and like I said, I've learned a lot from you guys. And I'm happy to know you guys have learned some stuff from me. Everybody said I had the patience. <laughs> I had great patience with that chest. I do. I really have. I've worked retail for years. And I've worked management retail for a lot of years. So, in my last job, before the convenience store here, I managed an art operation at the zoo in Kentucky, and most 90% of my employees were between the ages of 16 and 20. So, most of them were great kids, fabulous young men and women. I had, I was very blessed. I had a wonderful group of young people that were part of my life for so many years. That are still part of my life. I'm friends with them still to this day. Don't talk to them like we did then, of course, you know. But, um, yeah, just a great bunch of kids. But there were some, you know. Ten years I did this, you can bet there were a few that were less than ideal employees. And you have to learn to have patience when you're dealing with them. Plus I have five kids myself. So you really have to have patience when you have that many kids. I feel like, I don't know. It helps to have patience. There we go. Or otherwise I would probably went crazy. No. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to dump out the excess here. I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to mix up some black resin. I'm going to come back for it and we'll be done. See you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, we're back. Alright, so I got my resin mixed up here. I am using the Lex, Let's Resin. Resin. Because these are not really deep molds. And I find that it's my thicker resin, and for whatever reason, it tends to cure better. Um, I know a few of you, and I'm not a resin expert by any means, but my personal findings have been that when I use a shallower mold, and not one is, you know, not a super deep mold, the thinner the resin, the longer it takes to cure. So, I have used, I love, love, ClearCast 7000. Love the resin. It's great resin. I've poured many of things with it. In fact, if you guys saw me do the chest set, I did one set of the pieces in a ClearCast 7000, and I did the other set of the pieces in, uh, was it Let's Resin or J-Addiction? One of the other resins. And when I went to demold it in the other resin, it broke the piece and it because it had an air bubble in it. The ClearCast 7000, it cured beautifully. There were no air bubbles in any of them. 
They all turned out great, and I didn't do anything different with one than I did with the other. But I find that the waterier resin does better in the deeper things. The ClearCast 7000, if I poured it in a really thin mold, it would cure, but it would literally take it days to cure. I could pour it in a deep mold, and Mr. Froggy, I could pour it in Mr. Froggy, and he'd be cured tomorrow night. But if I poured it in that really thin, thin turtle mode that I have, not the, not this one, but the really thin one, if I poured it in it, it would take four days, three, four days to cure. So I don't know what the deal is with that, if that's because of that. But this thicker resin here, I can pour it in a thinner mold, and it does amazing. If I pour it in a thicker one, it heats up really quick. So you have you can pour it in a thicker mold in a deeper mold, but you have to do it in layers. So that's a lot of the issue I had with that. And that's like I said, that's what I have found. Now I don't know. It may just be the specific brands that I'm using, but I've tried a lot of different resins over the past two years. A lot of different ones. And I've had some that were okay resin. But right now I've kind of got my little system going here and it's working. So any of my deeper pours, I do the ClearCast 7000. The chest pieces, ClearCast 7000. Chest boards, Let's Resin. So that has worked out really well for me. I'm just going to pour this in and let's see if it'll kind of flow around on its own. I say that, and here I am going around on my doing it anyway. I didn't know how much resin this was going to take. to hold your hand out in midair and pour a steady stream. Anybody that pours resin knows this. <laughs> it's not easy to do. Okay, the head still needs a little bit up here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let me see here. Okay, we're going to pour the little lizard here right quick. that back in here like it looks a little full but it's not because it's not clear down in the tail here yet or all the way down in the toes I'm gonna take my little micro brush minus the brush Need a little bit more in here. Let me see if we can get it in this tail without spilling it everywhere. Get 
get it in there now. See if we can get it in here now. There we go. Just to hear more of this. Alright, and I'm going to add some more to this. Okay, I got a mold over here I'm going to use for, for this, but for now, I'm going to let you guys go. We'll be back tomorrow night to demold these and see how they turn out. Bye, guys. I wanted to show you guys this. When I tell you it's been raining here, do you see my street out in front of my trailer? It is flooded. My yard, it rains and more rain. All right. See you guys in a minute for demolding. Hello, my friends. I uh, hope you guys can hear me. It's raining. It's pouring. Yes. The old man is snoring. Uh, uh, we're going to demold these guys. I don't. I know you guys probably can't hardly hear me with the rain. But uh, I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put a hanger right here on this. I don't know. I'll see what he looks like when we get him out. But I think I'm going to put one of those sawtooth hangers here. And then he's just going to be decor to put on your table to go with the others. So, let's demold this guy. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how he turns out. And we did him in the chameleon powders. I'll report it in a couple spots here. There we go. There we go. All right. We're gonna lay him right there for a minute. I'm excited. You guys, excited to see how he turns out. take him out this was the one we did the silver and then we did the blues on him very pretty pretty colors I can't wait all right what do we want to do first let's do the those are first Ready, one, two, three, here, let's move you out of the way here. Let's hit show for a minute. Ready, one, two, and three. <gasps> oh, wow, the silver showed up, guys. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. Is he beautiful? Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty, guys? This is nice to know this works. Oh, I can see so many options with this, guys. I have every color of acrylic marker under the sun. I have acrylic paint. Oh, my word. We could paint this so colorful. Like I said, I just wanted to try the mold. 
and I'm trying to knock out a few more items for the sale. And I thought this would be cute because I've got several froggies, I've got turtles, I've got my other little lizards. Um, we're going to have a snake. Uh, I'm going to have a couple dragons. Uh, my bowls, my lotus bowl. Uh, the a couple of the jewelry boxes, the seashell one and the zodiac one. A bunch of keychains and stuff. So I'm going to take a video today of the sale, guys. While we're having it throughout the day, I'll take a couple of videos. All right, are we ready to see this guy? I want to see if he has eyes, because it doesn't look like in the, in the mold, it does not look like he has eyes. All right, ready? One, two, and three. And yeah, I was right, he has no eyes. Why does he have no eyes? You see this, guys? He has no eyes. It kind of bothers me. <laughs> he should have eyes, but he's beautiful otherwise. My goodness, he's gorgeous. And I love his colors. Oh, my God. I just really feel like he needs eyes. But I'm kind of like, where do I put them? Do I put them here? I know they're on the side. But they don't even have, like, indentations where they should be, even. I'm thinking in here, right? In here. This area. So basically what I could do is I could take a... Something on the line of that, guys. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Alright. I don't know. We'll figure something out. I might just draw one. I think I may just look them up on YouTube and... Or on Google. I'll Google Snake Eyes and... Because, I mean, I know what they look like, but in my brain right now, I can't think of what they look like. That is absolutely beautiful. Wow, he's pretty. I want to do a little bit of sanding on the bottom of him here. I bought a really fine grit sandpaper so I can just kind of lightly sand these bottoms to make sure they're not sharp. Because the edges can be kind of sharp and I don't want them to be sharp when I tell them to somebody. I don't want them to get cut. Even if they're only going to be hanging on the wall. You know, I don't want them to sort of hang it up and get cut. And since this is the back... I'm not too worried about having to recoat it or anything like that. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to give it a light sand. Just so it's not like crazy sharp right here. So it's not super sharp right there. I'm going to spend most of the evening tomorrow. Uh sanding anything that needs sanded. I got a couple things. I got a couple keychains I got to finish putting together. And I have a lot of keychains, a lot of necklaces. Uh, pretty much most of the stuff you guys have seen me make on my channel. And like I said, I apologize if this rains really loud, guys. We're just going to make this video a little short for that reason. Because I feel like you're not going to be able to hear me very well over the rain. So yeah, we got our snake here and our little lizard. Very cute, huh? All right, guys. Uh, also, I am putting a link in the description box. If you want to buy me a coffee, there is a PayPal link in the description box. Do not feel like you have to, guys, but somebody had suggested it, so I'm gonna do it. You know, if you do, great. If you don't, great too. I don't like asking people for anything. That's why I wanted to get to a thousand so YouTube could pay me. But I understand that, you know, people have supporters that support their channel as well. But I don't want anybody to do anything that they can't afford to do. Don't, you know, spend your money on you. I can guarantee that half of it will probably go on coffee and the other half will go on resin supplies. Just so you know, it's not all going to be coffee. About half will be coffee, the other half will be resin supplies. <laughs> 
So if you buy me a cup of coffee, it may or may not be coffee. But, uh, alright guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Hope everybody stays happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. I um, hope your resin cures beautifully. I hope your craft projects turn out great. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.